my name is Christy, and in these videos I like to share my songs and inspiration and stories behind them. However, today I am in the Kennard Guitar Shop with Ryan Middlebrook, and Steve Kennard is not with us right now. He's off gallivanting in Scotland. And uh, so Ryan is here, and he's putting on uh, new guitar strings for me. I'm on my way to the studio, because I'm a little bit behind for time, and he's uh, much faster at this than I am. So I'm just excited to be here, and just in a little bit, I'll show you around the shop. Okay, so Ryan, I'm going to ask you a few questions. So how yeah. long have you worked with Steve? I've worked here building and repairing guitars for 15 years. And I hear through rumor that you guys are booked like three years out for building custom-made guitars. We are booked quite a bit in advance for, we do two different types of things here. Well, one, we do repairs all the time. Sure. We're not booked out with sure. us. But the building guitars, as far as commissioning guitars for us to custom work on, we're about a year out on those builds. And then we also do student classes where we teach people how to build. And we do a one week build class where they come in with nothing and at the end of the week they build the guitar themselves. Awesome. And for those, we are the builders. Oh, that's awesome. There's that many people that want to build the guitar. They do. It's something that they come in the shop, they get to put together on their own, and then get to build That's awesome. Okay, so, so what inspired you to start building guitars? Well, honestly, I saw Steve, my boss, working at a repair bench in town at Encore Music, and I would visit with him, and it just seemed like every time I came to see him, he was doing something different. And, uh, and so, new puzzles, new challenges has always appealed to me, and of course, guitars and music I've always loved. And so one day I just said, if you ever need a helper, I'd be willing to come out and work with you. He said, yeah, okay, I'll take <laughs> But a couple of years later, he actually gave me a call and said, you know, I'm thinking about building more guitars, and I need someone to come on. I remember when you started in the garage. Yeah. Tiny little room. That's right. And yeah. it wasn't much bigger than this room yeah. here, but as far as the amount of space that we had. And we'd do a little dance. We would go yes. around together. And uh, thankfully, after her, about six or seven years here at this bigger shop and have fun. What is your, um, what's your favorite part of making guitars? What is it the challenge? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, I do love coming out here and working. It's peaceful. We work in the woods up here and the, there is something nice about just working with your hands and focusing on really uh, task that's that you have to put your whole mind into while you're working on it. You know, we're, we're working with very fine tolerances and so there's something gratifying about just really concentrating and getting something done and ultimately you know building something that's beautiful but useful for everyone. But I will say that ultimately the thing that makes us all rewarding is our customers and the people that we work with. It's more about relationships ultimately. That's what really drives us in the end is to, to build things for the people that are going to be using them. And then when you see the joy and the excitement, like, let me, when I got my guitar. <laughs> I just love this little guitar. I love the other one too. They made me another one. And um, it unfortunately had a little accident. <laughs> yeah. A vacuum cleaner hit it. It wasn't me. <laughs> And um, I should have had it in its case in the closet, but so I brought it here. And they, had, what did you actually have to do? Did you have to put the back totally back together again? We did. Amazingly, it was in about it had cracked in about four different spots, wow. and but we were able to piece it all back together, and now it's completely back together. And we're just doing the finishing process on that. I actually have it. Yes. Well, let's let's show them. Oh, I missed you. <laughs> I've missed you. Yeah. So when you when the guitar came in broken, actually this whole side of the guitar was shattered and you had a couple pieces up here and then the back was actually cracked right through here and you could actually see into the guitar from the side. 
and it's hard to tell it. I and now tell we've it. Uh, prepared all that, and we just have a couple little bit of finishing things to make it look green. Yeah, show them the. See that beautiful work that they do? I just, I, I feel so. And then show them right here. See, see for Christy Cook. And you can it's a little dusty now. Yeah, there's a little dusty. We haven't cleaned it up yet. <laughs> it's dusty from the work. That's right. What, uh, what yeah. tuning do you want this in? Oh, today I'm going to play that. <laughs> okay, so Ryan, explain a little bit of the guitar. Yeah, this is our double O model, and so it's uh, what some people would call a large parlor model, and uh, it has Sitka spruce, a bear claw Sitka spruce on top, and then it has some beautiful curly Spanish cedar on the back, a really great piece. We chose these woods because they're lightweight. Christy wanted a nice lightweight guitar. And we put a Manzer wedge on it, which means it's a little narrower on the player side than as compared to the waist side. And we put a nice arm bevel on here to make it even more comfortable. Our shoulder can come over very easily. And then she picked a very decorative wooden design for the fretboard and for the rosette. Beautiful. And um, he just informed me on my last video, I mentioned that this was a porthole, which is actually for a ship. And then I, I corrected it on the video and then I put sound hole. But he just told me that it's actually called a... Sound port. Sound port. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, so Ryan, tell me, what are all these things above your head? All this stuff are binding strips uh, for which the binding is the decorative piece around the top and the sides, but it's actually a structural piece too. It, it binds the, the top plates, the back plates, and the side plates together and gives it a little more reinforcement there, but uh, depending on what uh, the design scheme is for each individual guitar, we might use, say, curly maple for the binding, or we may end up going for something like Brazilian rosewood and it, it's all about what is the design scheme for the guitar, what are the other woods that are being used in the palette for the guitar. Super. But all these are fairly hard woods because if you were to accidentally bump your guitar against something, you want something... Or a that, vacuum cleaner. <laughs> or a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> you want something that has a little bit of strength and rigidity that all of them This is a new project. It is. We're building a guitar for a show that we're going to in September, and this is a Sinker Mahogany OM. This, is, this wood was actually um, dredged up from a river in Belize. Really? And, uh, back a hundred years ago when they logged out Belize for their mahogany, some of those big logs went down in the river. Some industrious people have now gone and dredge those up and we have a couple sets of this wood. It's beautiful, it's lightweight, and this is a OM model that we're building. It's a little bigger than your guitar, just a step up from your guitar. And uh, we're just getting it ready today to put a top on it so we can get it ready for and the show. And what kind of top? What wood is the top? The top is going to be a German spruce, so a European spruce as opposed to the the top on your guitar, which is an American spruce. Oh, okay. And I would think that a log in water for that long yep. would ruin it. Well, it does ruin a lot of it, and, but these logs are so big that they can cut through and get to the heartwood that's still good. Uh, if you were to get real close and smell this wood, it wouldn't smell like just standard mahogany. It does have a kind of a, uh, almost a little mildewy smell like to it river? from all the river, yeah. You can't smell them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your workshop. That's right. We're, we're really in Steve's uh, area of the workshop now, which is neck construction. And uh, But I just wanted to show you a, a neck that we're building for the mahogany limb that we're taking to the show. And here, the, it doesn't have its fretboard on yet. It does have carbon fiber rods installed that create the strength in the neck to help it from bending over time. 
Uh, this is a real nice piece of curly mahogany, and uh, it's got a Brazilian rose with the plate. Yeah. <laughs> is he going to then, what kind of ink is he going to do with Yeah, we'll probably uh, pick a fairly traditional inlay for this one since it's, we're building it on spec and it's going to be a show with a bunch of guys that uh, hopefully will respond to something you know that's uh that's pretty standard as opposed to if we did a real decorative inlay then we're starting to limit our audience sure bit. sure so tell me uh where is the show this show is going to be the bower Sox invitational guitar show it's in uh, new braunfels texas well, it's on labor day grows. that's right yeah i grew up in work going to be welcome comes, to come. Yeah. yeah, the river. That's right. Are you going to go swimming? <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll see if we have time. There's no time. <laughs> yeah. So like, is this like a really big show? Like international or just national? Well, it is international. There's going to be uh, a guy from Germany, a guy from Canada coming over uh, as far as luthiers that are coming. There's going to be about 10 luthiers there from uh, now around the world. And it's really just in one guy's house, but he brings together about a hundred people for the weekend. And it's, a, it's a great event. How fun is that? To just be with all those little theaters and oh, yeah. guitars. It's and, a blast. I mean, you guys must dream about guitars and inlays and woods. and <laughs> All the time. <laughs> oh, see, so I gotta say a quick goodbye here because he's already got another maybe uh, client that's right <laughs> that's coming in <laughs> so um thank you ryan oh you're very well lots of fun and thanks for putting the stream oh anytime all right